Today I'll be coding this looping animation. So the first thing to do here is split it into frames as I've done here. And there are 50 frames, 500 pixels, um, width and height. And I'm going to take the first frame, copy image address, and um, set it as a background for the body. So background URL, and I'm going to use that image, no repeat. And let's also set margin uh, 0. And as you can see here, 0 0.04 seconds delay in between frames. And since there are 50 frames, that means an animation duration of 2 seconds. Now let's set a few basic styles for the SVG. We're going to give it a width of 500 pixels uh, to coincide with that of the image. And let's set a few styles like a fill none, a uh, stroke red, and a stroke width of two pixels. And this should do it for now. And here, SVG, and I'm going to set a view box. Uh, and here I'm going to have offsets. Let's put them first at zero, zero, and some dimensions. Um, same for the width and the height and let's join this with a space and let's set uh, the view box dimension so D is going to be 500 and now let's create a sun circle um, let's say um, a radius um, so it's going to be a sun radius we're going to set it to 65 so R is going to be the sun radius and as you can see it, it's in that corner but we want the 0, 0 of the SVG to be there at the 0, 0 of uh, that circle so um, we're going to create two offsets OX and OY and OX let's say it's going to be minus 200 and uh, the same for OY at the beginning at least so let's see how this works uh, we need to move it a bit and let's see if we need to move them differently probably or maybe not and we can keep this radius it's good enough and um, we can just use one of them so um, it's going to be like this and let's delete those this should work just fine and now for the cloud we're going to have a path with an ID of cloud and we're going to set a D attribute and the move to command is going to go um, to the left of the center of that circle and it's going to go down by a hundred pixels so to the left means minus and down by a hundred okay 110 pixels and let's draw a line a horizontal line so that we can see where we are okay so we need to go a bit lower and let's go a bit more to the uh, right like this but we're not going to draw a horizontal line here we're going to draw an arc and that's going to be an, uh, a relative coordinates. So first, let's set uh, an array of radii we're going to be using to create this cloud. So um, let's say something like um, 50 the first, 70, and 60 the third. And we're going to see how this works out. They probably won't work out, but um, well, we'll see. We'll tweak stuff along as we go. And this is the radius along the x-axis. Um, along the y-axis there's going to be no axis rotation and it doesn't matter in this case anyway this seems to be a bit more than half a circle so this flag is going to be one it goes clockwise so the next flag is also one the end point is to the right uh, by a bit and it's going to be a lot up so uh, to the right by a bit 100 up and up is with minus 
Okay, let's see how that works. A bit more higher up and a bit more to the right. And I think we need to increase the radius a bit. Yes, we do. Um, and the next thing that we do is copy paste this. And again. And change the indices. And here we go a lot to the right. 120 and just a bit up and also we don't have more than half a circle so this is zero um let's even less okay this looks good uh now we go by the sum of these which is going to be 111 with a different sign and we need to go more to the right um, also decrease this, let's say 58, um, also let's go more to the right and let's close this path. Now the next thing that we're going to do is create a mask which is going to cut out from the sun, cut out the cloud from the sun. So a uh, mask, let's give it an ID of M. And we're going to have a circle in the background and this is going to have a radius of D and then we're going to have a copy of this cloud so it's going to be use and here we need to reference it and we're going to have this some um, Sun circle we're going to have it inside the group called sun, not sun, and let's indent it properly, and here we're also going to have a group of rays, um, now let's set a number of rays, uh, it's going to be R12, and the angle between them is going to be 360 over the number of rays, so here we loop and we're going to have a group that rotates so it's going to be a uh, transform rotate on um, the current number of rays left times the angle okay here we're going to have uh, some definitions and here I'm going to have a line with an ID of ray and it's going to have an X1 and an X2 and here I'm going to set a stroke width that's going to be uh, 10 and um, I'm also going to set an X that's going to be uh, 2 times the stroke width and the first one, the X1 is going to be minus 0.2 uh, times uh, this uh, no times the stroke width and this is going to be uh, that x and here i'm going to create copies of the rays inside each of these groups uh, here is going to be our ray not cloud and also i'm going to have an offset that's going to be uh, the sun radius plus that x previously computed um Yeah, and this is not right because I'm not interpolating stuff here. I should have interpolated. And now it should work. Yeah, it works. So now I need to cut out that cloud to make that mask actually do something. So I'm going to have ID uh, sun uh, mask and now it should make everything disappear. And it did. So now for every mask, I'm going to do something like this. Nth child um, odd is going to be a uh, fill white. And now I'm going to uh, copy paste this, and it's going to be a uh, two n. Um, and here I'm going to have fill black and 
and it's going to be on the same for stroke. And now, as you can see, everything is cut out. Um, and I need to somehow get the stroke, and I'm also going to need this angle a bit later. You'll see why. And I need to get them into the CSS. And I do this via a style element, and I'm going to set on the root, I'm going to set as custom property the stroke width. And I need to interpolate it here. And it's going to be pixels. And the same way for our angle. Except this one is in degrees. So now that I've done this, I can set the stroke width. This is going to be on a calc value, and it's going to be a uh, 2 times um, that stroke width. And I'm also going to set this here. And as you can see it, it looks nice. Now, let's also set a stroke line cap here. And this is going to be round. And this is it for the SVG element. Uh, this should be it for the mask. We can remove this background and just uh, set a solid one. So, um, this should work. Um, but let's make this white. Okay, now we're going to have a bunch of animations here, and it's going to be an oscillation of the sun, an oscillation of the of uh, the cloud, and a rotation of the rays. So that's going to be three animations. So the first one is going to be uh, the oscillating animation, and one is up and one is down, and um, I'm going to unify this into a single set of keyframes. And the way I'm going to do this is by using CSS custom properties. So it's going to be a uh, transform, uh, translate Y, and I'm going to use a calc here, and I'm going to have a switch that's going to be a, um, an I, and this one is going to be um, 1 initially, and I'm going to multiply it uh, with the stroke width okay and the other two sets of keyframes are also going to be using transforms so the first one on here is going to be a rotation so rotate and it's going to be using that angle custom property Okay, and the last one is going to be an expansion of the rays, which is going to be on a scale uh, x. So uh, this is going to be 1.5. Um, so let's make this a bit more readable here. Um, so I'm going to need to set some oscillating classes. So set it here on the SVG itself and let's create another group here and put everything in that group and now for the oscillating elements and also for the uh, array line I'm going to set animation uh, the oscillating one uh, the animation duration uh, is in out infinite alternate and now I'm going to uh, take for the line and I'm going to change the animation name 
um, animation name is going to be this one for the expansion and also for, uh, for the race I'm going to have another animation so this is going to be for the race uh, ID race and this is going to be the rotation and it's going to be a uh, linear and here I'm also going to switch that I to minus 2 so that it oscillates differently um, one more thing I need to do here let's set a height of 100 viewport height units let's set a display to flex um, overflow hidden and here I can set flex and this is going to be 1 okay and this is it it scales nicely it animates nicely it's uh, just the uh, SVG and CSS so I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have any other questions just drop them in the comments or send them on Twitter and until next time